In this video, we're going to go over what is included in the Ready Stick Neonatal ECMO Trainer Kit and tips and tricks for setup. The starter kit includes four necks, two light tone and two dark tone. Each starter kit comes with a base, four necks, two necks are light tone and two necks are dark tone. Each neck comes with an internal jugular vein and a carotid artery. We have replaceable necks and replacement vessels that can be ordered separately. And you can also reuse a cut neck and put in fresh vessels. We also have blood tabs that are included in the kit. For our simulations, what we found to work the best is we do not put the blood tabs in the bag that primes the heart. We do put the blood tabs in the ECMO machine. And as we go on pump, it fills the heart with red. The heart comes with a protective case. We recommend draining the heart, drying it, and storing it in the case in between simulations. Okay, we're gonna show you two examples of ways to set up the neonatal ECMO trainer. One is flat on the surface right there without the extension. If you do use this, uh, you will need something to hold the IV bag. The other option is this example. It's eight inches high. We found this very useful for conferences and just any kind of table. It gives it a lift and also you can hold the IV bag there. Um, so either way works, uh, it's two different options. Next, we'll show you how to attach the legs. Okay, we have found the best position to hang the IV bag leg part is on the left lower portion of the trainer. Um, and that keeps you out of the working area in the surgical site. The IV bag one is better to hang it. It's easier if you hang it over the edge and then you can connect all the other ones. Flip it over. Okay. Give it one last tighten. All of them one last tighten. We recommend using a chucks under the trainer and also you can put a cup under it. We have two holes that are in each base and once you cut into the vessels, any bleeding will leak um, through those holes and you can collect it in the cup if you want. Okay, first thing you wanna do is load the vessels. Um, you have the beveled end here and you have, you wanna make sure the stop cocks are on the end of it and tightened. Um, sometimes it helps to put a little bit of lubricating jelly or baby soap um, on the vessel. You don't want the soap at the front here because that's what connects to the heart and it can make it just kind of come off the heart. So if you put any on, just put a little bit more up in this area. You don't really need that much. Just kind of rub it around. Okay, to load the vessels, uh, you need a a standard ECMO tubing clamp. And uh, we do have it available in our neonatal ECMO instrument kit. And so what you wanna do is just come from the, from the chest side up through the head. There's the fat in here and that'll get a little sticky. You go up through the head. Remember, you wanna keep the soap or any lubricating jelly back here, not up here. You just open them up. You can do one at a time or two at a time. And the carotids, you can kind of floss it through. You want the um, vagal nerve in the middle. Pull it through. Again, you do not want soap or lubricating gel there. I like to pull it all the way through to give you a little bit of slack like that. Next, you wanna connect it to the heart. You wanna make sure there's no lubricating jelly or soap in there at all. And then if you've used the heart and there's some soap around it, you wanna clean that off really well. Sometimes even alcohol is good. Slide it on like that. And then I go ahead and connect. 
the heart. To the base. And then one at a time, just slowly, just take your time working it in and then hold here to bring the slack and just take your time, don't rush. If you pull too hard, it could pull this off and hold, hold at the heart location. You just kind of get it in position like that. Next step is to insert the vessel spacer in between the internal jugular vein and carotid artery. The vessel spacer is connected with a lanyard to the base. This is an important step to not skip. And then you give it one more just gentle, gentle tug to make sure it's not crossed up or gapped up inside the neck. Next is you want these open and you want to open this stopcock here. Make sure all your lines are open tubing clamps open and it'll start to prime and we found this is the best position here and you if you have a friend you can have them hold the bag up higher and it'll go faster and if you're doing this alone once it gets up here I just clamp it with my fingers and then do the stopcock clamp it off you want to make sure all these are tight And then you want to look in here, make sure all that's good. In good shape. Also, the leaking, there's a hole underneath the base here. There's two holes, and you can put a cup under there to catch the leaking. We also recommend using a chucks. Okay, once you finish the simulation and you're ready for storage or to put a new neck on, um, open the stopcocks, open this here. We like to have a stopcock in between the, the bag and the bottom of the heart. Drop the bag below the heart and just tilt it and it'll drain out, mostly. Um, then close off the stopcock and then work the vessels off here gently. Okay, you can also unscrew the heart, take, take the neck off and then um, we'll follow instructions for how to replace new vessels. Um, you can put new vessels in a cut neck. Um, that's fine, you can do that or you can use a fresh neck. Then if you wanna get all the water out of the heart, you kind of dump it that way, that's the best. Okay. 